Hi all, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm gonna to show you how to make four easy classic whiskey cocktails. Scotch whiskey in particular. And I have to say a big thank you to the team from Pure Scott for sending me this bottle. Uh, it's, it's a freshie. I haven't actually tried it yet, but um, it smells beautiful on the nose. Uh, it's got a lot of honey, fruits, and a um, little bit of smoke and a little bit of spice to it. I'm gonna read straight off the label because I wasn't gonna remember this, uh, but this is a unique blend of a Bladnock single malt, aged Speyside Highland and Island malts, as well as select grain whiskey. So it is a blended Scotch whiskey. And it's actually the only Australian owned distillery in Scotland. So to make the Bobby Burns, I'm gonna start with 45 ml of your blended Scotch whiskey. So 1.5 ounces and add that into a mixing glass. So this, this recipe was featured in Harry Craddock's Savoy cocktail book. I think it was about the 1930s. Next ingredient is sweet vermouth. Same, same measurement, 45 ml or 1.5 ounces. Oh, getting pretty low on my dom. And last ingredient, 22.5 ml or three quarter ounce. So that's the only variation in comparison to Harry Craddock's Savoy cocktail book. He only calls for three dashes as opposed to 22.5 ml. Simply add ice to the mixing glass and give it a stir. So same as usual, 20, 30 seconds. Make sure it's nice and cold. Add some dilution. And I've already got my glass set aside with a piece of ice in it, so I'm chilling that down. And strain into a, a chilled stemmed cocktail glass. And for garnish, just a twist of lemon. So just use your peeler and peel over the top of your drink and express the oils. There you have the Bobby Burns. Cheers. So on to cocktail number two, the Rob Roy. So the Rob Roy is essentially a Scotch whiskey Manhattan, Scotch Manhattan. And this is up to your personal preference. You can use a single malt or you can use a blend. And this particular Scotch cocktail it's, if you use a, a premium whiskey, uh, it's not gonna get lost in this cocktail. Um, so if you've got something nice sitting on the shelf, then feel free to use that. So to start with, I use my Pure Scots. 45 mil. 1.5 ounces. And sweet vermouth, 22.5 mil. Or three quarters of an ounce. And third and final ingredient, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And fill your mixing glass with ice and stir. And next step is just to strain straight into that chilled glass and garnish with a maraschino cherry. So if you like, you can also bump up your measurements as well. I, I use this particular recipe because I'm using a smaller glass and uh, it looks quite elegant and nice. So drop that maraschino straight into the bottom of the glass and there you have the Rob Roy. Before I get started on cocktail number three, if you do want to check out more whiskey cocktails, I've also done another compilation, which I'll link to right here. But on to the next one, the Blood and Sand Cocktail. So this one is another classic cocktail that's been featured in uh, Harry Craddock's Savoy Cocktail Book. Um, in this particular one, you don't want to pick anything too smoky, so I'd probably steer clear of the Isla whiskies. Uh, and also with the orange juice, make sure you use fresh orange juice. So it is a shaking cocktail, so grab your 
Boston glass and shaker or cobbler shaker, whatever, whatever you prefer to use and measure out equal parts of all the ingredients. So starting with the blended scotch in my case, three quarters of an ounce, 22.5 mil. So scotch whiskey, sweet vermouth. Same measurements there, 22.5 mil, three quarters of an ounce. Followed by the cherry hearing, so cherry liqueur. And fourth ingredient, fresh orange juice. Fill your Boston glass with ice and give it a quick shake. Now strain the cocktail into your chilled coupe glass and garnish with a twist of orange. So there you have the blood and sand. So the final cocktail and the easiest of them all is the Rusty Nail. So it's simply a two ingredient cocktail, of course, Scotch whiskey. So we'll start by measuring 45 mil, 1.5 ounces. Now, of course, there's there's different ratios on how people like this drink. Uh, this particular one is a two to one. Um, some people prefer it less sweet and have a three to one ratio. So follow it with Drambuie. 22.5 mils, three quarter ounce. So the Dram Drambuie brings a lot of um, sweet spice and honey notes to it. Kind of softens the whiskey, uh, makes it a little bit sweeter and just, it's a real easy drink to, to sip on. Then add ice to your glass and garnish with a twist of lemon. So there you have the rusty nail, as simple as that. If you don't like it as sweet, then go for the three to one ratio. So three parts of the whiskey to one part Trambouille. Uh, but this is how I personally prefer it. So given that it's a compilation video, I haven't run through all the drinks and done all the tastings, but if you'd like to have some tasting notes, have a look at the first comment below and I'll run through a little bit of a description of each drink and what I think and potentially what could change. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. That's damn good.